Well, good morning from Canada. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we got Dean uh, with me this morning. Good morning. We're heading over to uh, the junkyard finally to get the tanks. Uh, Badge and Michael are, I think, going to be uh, shortly behind us in another vehicle. And uh, I'm just really hoping that it is not as wet as the last time I went. Because if it is, we're going to be in a swamp taking off fuel tanks. <laughs> So, because the videos are so delayed, and um, I haven't had, uh, let's see, lots of service, we'll say. It's been a little hard to keep track of all the uh, Patreon thank yous. So, if I do have a, a couple duplicates, well, that's just what's going to go down today. So, I think I last left off. Uh, Trey Rogers, thank you very much for joining. It is much appreciated. Uh, Tony K. Fletcher, thank you. Actually, I think I'm repeating myself, so thank you again. For everybody who doesn't get a second thank you, I apologize. Uh, Jeff Marshall, thank you very much for joining. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much to Kateri Burnett. It's much appreciated. Uh, also, we got a quick thank you to Andrew James Hilton. I appreciate it very much. It is, uh, it's really, it's what's keeping me going out here right now. Uh, and Kevin Ralph, thank you very much. And we have uh, skateboarding progression. Thank you so much. It is all you guys, uh, even from the very first ones to the most recent, really, uh, just so everybody knows, YouTube does not pay a ton of money. Uh, I don't, you know, um, have tons and tons uh, of views, hundreds of thousands of views. And so it's really like the equivalent to a couple Phillips at the diesel station. Uh, uh, right now, so it's 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 not much. So it, it is it is much appreciated, and I just want to t thank all of you uh, for the support. Also, huge thank you to Dean for helping me out. Oh, helping me out. I don't know why you're here helping me out, but it's because you, of this. Well, it's for me. okay, that's true. His <laughs> fan clutch went out the other day. Uh, also, big thank you to Badge. Everybody loves Badge and yeah. to Michael. Uh, you guys are amazing, and this build really wouldn't be as badass as it is without you guys, so I appreciate you guys. Provincial uh, powertrain. Um, big shout out to Eeyore for letting us uh, pick through parts out here. Uh, it is a junkyard that you guys have seen in a previous video. If you guys did watch the video, that other truck is over there, and we're gonna go check in, say hi, see how to use the torch. You ever torch stuff before? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Badge and uh, Michael are on their way. They're picking up other supplies uh, for the uh, rooftop deck, uh, some other things, but. <laughs> It's so funny to see all this heavy machinery just ripped off, just hanging out, lying around. Um, oh, also, he's going to be looking for a fan clutch, too. So there are a few Caterpillar uh, engines over here. is going on here. I got my tools. Uh, we're just going to take off this bolt here on top. That holds the straps in. The straps hold the fuel tank in. So we get the fuel tank off first and then we'll get the uh, mounting brackets. Alright, so we really didn't get very far. Here's the situation. Getting those things off is a lot harder than anticipated. And they're $40 each. Uh, brand new for the straps. The bottom part, which adjusts the tension of it, is completely corroded. So if we get it off, we can't get it back on. So instead of spending, you know, say $200 on uh, straps for an old uh, tank, 
what might be smarter is, is to either repurpose something else that's um, like a, kind of a square tank or just have something fabricated uh, like Kyle and the green bus, the other vegetable bus. So right now we're just looking for a fan clutch for Dean because we're at a standstill. To our luck, we just happened to do one more pass through the field and we found exactly what we were uh, having trouble getting off of the uh, semi-truck. It's, uh, I believe, 22 and a half inch diameter, uh, 150 gallons, and it comes with this cute little frog right there. Look at that. Hey, buddy. I love frogs. Anyways, um, decisions, decisions. Not really sure what to do. Also, I did find a $400 fuel filter over there, which I just purchased. Had I seen it before, I would have snagged that one. Um, but uh, yeah, we're we're just this is this is what it's like when you are building a bus. You have an idea for something, you hit a roadblock, you try something else, you think about some other option, you just try to keep going. nothing we're gonna take this guy home and hopefully it works all right looks like we're out of here uh, wait should we grab some 12 volt fans oh, did you grab the channel for the side no I'm sorry my voice is going he's uh, he's, uh, he's getting sick did you oh. have the side channel for the bus for the window no okay, we wanted to grab that. also shout out to uh, nut bar for uh, letting us use this truck if I didn't thank you before thank you very much we really appreciate the uh, pickup truck getting around, so thanks a lot, man. All right, well, just want to thank the uh, star of the show here at uh, Provincial Powertrain, race car driver extraordinaire, uh, Igor. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Tanasiak. Yes. Tanasiak. Tongue, it. tongue twister. <laughs> you need a progy and you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, give him a call if anybody's a trucker, needs a diesel. Uh, he's got rebuilt uh, engines, transmissions. All kinds of fun stuff, as you can see over here. So, yeah, we got lots of stuff today. Perfect, right on. Yeah, we're all loaded up. I was gonna look for uh, a seat, but uh, the one that I saw, the little armrest thing, wasn't uh, working properly. And seats are a dime a dozen, and they cost probably 25 bucks. Stay the fuck out of here if you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back over at uh, Metalhead's picking up more metal from the metal man himself, Steve. Give him a call if you need some uh, some metal. But uh, this is where we're getting all of our uh, metal in here. This is where we're getting the tube. This is where we're getting uh, metal for the uh, the roof. Oh, look at how thick that stuff is. So if uh, if we can get our dear friend Trevor to thread them, finally, then we'll be uh, installing the rooftop secret. All right, we're now at Where the... Where are we now? Well, we're at Hitchworks. We're and at Trevor's. That's right. And look at who we meet. I don't know. Craig Anstead. <laughs> Jack Austin. Hi, Jack. Hey, Jack. Nice to meet you. Big cracker. <laughs> and of course, Michael there. <laughs> See? Yeah, I'll get Michael all in there. Trevor's. Yeah. If you're Wait hanging with Trevor Matt, Dewar. you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. no kidding. Yep. Exactly. No, like the co-founders, yeah. along we have one other one of the Nitro Rats. Yeah. We're the idiots that did yeah. that. Oh, you guys yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. I'm included in this. Yeah. So that yeah. was like a junior dragster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. So uh, this is a place where you got the pipes threaded. Just want to say thanks to Trevor, man. 